Hey guys. Um, this is a new channel I have. Uh, sorry, hair in my eyes. Um, it's a game review channel, the Game Games Guru One Two Three, and it's all on online games and uh, MMOs, RPGs, all that cool stuff. And um, I'm gonna do, be doing an episode every few weeks or so, maybe once a month, maybe once a week, maybe once every two weeks. I'm not sure yet. Depends on how much time I have. And um, oh, that's all. Okay, I'll just get that back. Um, so this week the video that I'm doing is World of Tanks. World of Tanks is a free MMO game. You are a tank. You're like kind of co the commander. You have a tank crew, and you work a tank. And you go around and just battle people. You can have clans. It's like little. I think they're called um, platoons, and. What else? Companies. And, um, you can work together, kick stuff over. Fun stuff like that. And then, um, there's a lot of good things and a lot of bad things. What I'm going to be doing in my videos is I'm going to be saying the good things and the bad things about it. The, uh, bad thing is what I'm going to do second. First thing is, is first. Good thing is first. And here's the good things. It's free. It has good graphics. Good sound quality. Um, it's pretty realistic. Which can be good and bad. Being realistic means that you can't hit people as easy. It's not easy to kill people. It's not easy to actually win. Like do good in battles. And, uh, another bad thing is that, another good thing, sorry, is that when you have different types of tanks, and each one fits a different type of person. Like, if you like a sniper, you probably want an artillery or a SPG. If you really just like to charge head on, or if you can... You get like a tank destroyer, and then another really good thing is um the tanks themselves. The tanks, the tanks themselves are easy to get because you get like if you lose, you still get money. So you get like a thousand a game plus repair damages and ammunition which can be a bad thing. But if you win and you have like a medium tank, you get like 6,000 a game if you win. So it adds up. And I've only been playing for two days and I already have a medium. And I've barely been playing. So there's a few good things, but there's bad things too. You have crew members, which can be a good thing. But it's mainly a bad thing because if one of them's hit or is wounded or is dead, they're not functional. So if your driver's dead, other people to cover for him. Or if your gunner's dead, you can't really shoot that well. Or you know, if your commander's dead, you're like practically blind because he's the one looking around. And you have tank parts. So let's say one of your tracks is hit, then and it's damaged. You're immobile until they fix it, which sucks. And let's say your gun's hit, or your turret's hit, then you can't move your turret, and your gun does less damage, etc. Not fun. That part, at least. But the game is pretty fun. Another bad thing that I really don't enjoy is the ammunition. It's a pain to buy. And in order to get the good ammunition that, like, penetrates and whatever you have to pay real money and it sucks because you get like little gold coins it's not fun it's not worth it that part 
but the free stuff is still pretty good. Good graphics. But due to all this, at the end, at, at the end of e near the end of each video, I'm gonna rate it. I'm gonna at, in the end of all this, I'm gonna rate it a five. It has good things, but it has bad things. So I'm just gonna rate it somewhere in the middle. That's a D. Five out of ten is a D. F. D minus. Let's just stick with that. Like, I'm playing right now. I'm not really actually playing. My left track, my ammo rack. That's another thing. When you, if they blow up your ammo rack, you're out of ammunition, which sucks. Um, I'm not playing right now, and I was just sitting there, and got it from long distance. Tracks out. There's a couple bad things about this game. Yeah. So overall, I give it a five. I'm just gonna say it's a D minus. I'm not sure right now, but it is fun to play, and it is worth your time. What? Hmm. At the end of each video, I'm going to be showing a clip from the game. This clip is showing a negative because of how quickly you die. I didn't even go that far, but there's certain, if you, the best team to be on is either Russia or America. The Germany side, the only thing they have good is the tank destroyers. America has good heavy tanks and light and medium tanks because the light tanks are so fast the medium tanks are really tough and the heavy tanks like pwn um which but the bad thing about America is that they don't have any tank destroyers Russia has good everything mainly because I believe that the game was made in Russia it's like tanky like Tanky game. That's gonna be one of my next ones. We're gonna get in that right now. But yeah, anyways, I'm getting sidetracked. Here's the clip of the game. Um, tell me what you think. And in the end, give me your rating. I want to know your rating. What you think of the game if you've played? Because I'm really eager to hear. Open ears. So yeah, here's a clip. <laughs> 